Hey, Power Brain, great that you're here. So let's continue with uh, our symbols. <laughs> okay, right. And um, so to each symbol and name goes a number. And the number represents which environment it is in. Okay, so we start with a with the artist and you put it on your knees and that's the place for 1200. So 1200 is no nine. This is what this, that's the sound that horses make. And the Stusio de Bon in Sekna is on a horse ra ranch and breeds horses. So that's 1200 on your knees. The next symbol goes like this. That is the symbol for 1000. And um, you show up to the ceiling as 1000. And you're also pointing a little bit at, at yourself. So who is the genius here? <laughs> okay. So then um, 1000 is about sound. And the zeros is to do, that is drums. Okay. So, um, the geniuses are in an environment of where, no, no, sorry, uh, 1000, all the zeros is the S sound to the ceiling, S for ceiling, S sounds. So this is where the singers are. So all the geniuses are singers, okay? Okay, in our imagination, in the permanent memory sphere. That's the environment. Um, then we've got um, this one here that is, 1,400, and those are the composers. So the 1,400 um, gives you roar. So all the composers um, make sounds, make sounds like um, these, these, um, uh, what's going on here, something, uh, Zoom has recognized my hand and made a hand symbol up there. <laughs> Amazing technology. <laughs> so, um, so I was at the composers at 1,400 1, gives you the composers. And they compose music. It sounds like the wild cats are roaring. So that's the sound, okay? 1,400 composers roaring. And that's the first set of three. So let's look at them. So we've got a artist, a painter, um, Dussi de Bon in Segna. So then you would go Dussi, that is like toes. So you would have the environment of horses and toes, and then tell the story with horses and toes. Uh, Ducio, that gives you Ducio. Di bon insegna, du bu, tu bu, uh, gives you uh, a tape. And maybe um, you tell the story how a tape in, influences your toes or, the legs of horses, the hoofs, you know, whatever um, story you you tell. Okay. Um, so that's the first section. Then we've got the next symbol, which is the geniuses. That's 1000. And this is about singers. So you've got singers. Um, so this Leonardo da Vinci was a great singer in your imagination, and that gives you the environment of 1,000. So wherever you reckon singers perform, this is where um, Leonardo da Vinci is hanging up, because that gives you the 1,000. And then the third symbol gives you uh, this or that, put under your rear, you've got composers, and that's the R sound for rear. And so you've got these um, 
um, composers. So there's a composer, Philip de Vitry, and um, Philip F -le gives you a file. So there's a, um, a manuscript. You open the file and his music is roaring at you like that. Okay, then the fourth symbol would be writers. That is 1,800. And the environment would be violence. Okay, so eight for v, for v, violence. So um, a, in my imagination, all writers before, after their writing, they play the violin or cello or any other string instrument. I used to play the guitar like this. Um, and that's why I'm a, I'm a writer. That's why I write things <laughs> because I play string, string instrument in my imagination, okay? And in this case, violin. So um, it's a writer and it's um, uh, Geoffrey Chaucer, you know, the one who wrote the Canterbury Tales and um, he is also the father of English literature, but that information comes later. So uh, Geoffrey is, uh, Geoff is shave. So I need to get a shave soon. <laughs> and so he's playing his violin and he realizes that he has to have a shave. And so he's, in the, in the sound um, environment and take, ha, has a shave, okay? So that's Geoffrey. Then, and then of course, the other letters of Chaucer, you have to have other pictures for that. So um, uh, under this video, you got my email address, so get in touch with me and then I'll show you all the precise details of how to do this further. And so the, I, I believe the fifth, the fifth symbol would be uh, the, the geniuses, and there are two of them. And um, so the, the geniuses are again 1000, and those are singers, and the next singers are William Shakespeare, and uh, Goethe, so Shakespeare and Goethe, and they also have historical dates to it, which I've already told you about. So um, William would be um, a W for William, and the W is two Vs, um, which go here, two Fs. So F, -f is a five, and um, spelled F-I-F-E, and that's a wooden medieval flute. And um, so, so you need to connect the wooden medieval flute, so like a flute, basically. Uh, and you connect it to the um, uh, environment of singers. So, um, uh, so Shakespeare is singing a little bit, and then he's playing the flute. Whatever story you tell. Then the next one would be Goethe. Um, and he's in the he's also singing there with, with um, uh, Shakespeare. And um, but his beginning letters are different. So that is um, um, Johann. So is uh, uh, like like genes, so it's y, j, goes here, and this number six, so it's sh, um, and the h is not used, and then it's an n, so it's chain. So there's a chain involved in his um, singing style. Okay. So you have to tell a story about that one. And then the last, the sixth symbol is this one here with the monarchs, and there are three of them. And so you've got William the first, William the second, and Richard the, the second. And so the, the monarchs, uh, they, do have, they have the number 2000, um, and, and it's about the zeros at the, at the end. And 
But this case is not the sound, it's a smell, okay? So in this case, a seaweed. So all these monarchs, they have something to do with seaweed, okay? Uh, in those days, that they, they didn't have uh, soap and other things, and they didn't wash every day, they didn't have showers. So the problem back then uh, in 1200, 1300, in those days, um, that it was the smell, okay? So in my imagination, they use seaweed and put this into um, a bath tub and heated it up with, with wood and, or coal or whatever they had back then. And so um, they had a lotion they could wash themselves with. So the seaweed, so you have the environment connect, connecting seaweed with monarchs, okay? So that is it for me for today. Uh, this is how I do it with the numbers, put the, putting them into an environment. And then uh, it's absolutely the same thing with the, with the dates. I just give you an example with um, Ducy de Bon in Segna, uh, 1255 till 1318. Um, so uh, 12. Uh, so here's the hand si signal again, ha hand signal. Okay, so 12 is uh, a tin, 55 a lily, 13 a dam, and 18 a TV. So you tell a story about these four words uh, connected with Ducey de Bon and Segna, and you've got the dates. So this is how easy it is. It's actually very easy, okay? And then you never have to repeat it again. Uh, you can always reconstruct it, okay? You put it into this order, um, of going, of going, of going like this, um, and uh, like this, <laughs> like like this. Uh, uh, uh. So those are the six hand symbols that you do, and then um, there are nine of them. So you so you count them like this. So let's say, for example, if I'm at number four, okay. Um, Number four sounds like door, and rice goes rice goes against it, against the door, um, and that has something to do with Zeus. And those are all picture words. So that gives me fourteen hundred, and so it must have been um, uh, Geoffrey Chaucer to be number four of the whole sequence uh, from thirteen forty. Forty is rice. And 49. So you always can reconstruct things. Uh, I, I find this absolutely amazing. So you don't have to practice, you don't have to rehearse. It's all in the permanent memory sphere, in the environment. Um, and uh, I need to make a correction that um, it was already by with the second one. Uh, I believe I said 13, uh, 19, but it's actually 15. 19, and that was um, Leonardo da Vinci. So Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452 and died in 1519. Um, so that's the correction here, live in front of you. Um, so when I watched the video, I heard that and I thought, oh no, but I'm not gonna destroy the whole video because it's important to make mistakes and out of this embarrassment, you learn as well, <laughs> okay? So thank you very much for watching and uh, I see you next time. Okay, bye for now. Take care, bye, ciao.